I'm going to show you guys my weight loss journey and it's also going to have a bit of um, vlogging into it so you guys will see what I was what I was um, up to during my weight loss journey and I'm super excited uh, and I'm kind of nervous because honestly I don't know how this is going to turn out but hopefully well. If you don't know me my name is Kiaya Naomi and you're welcome to my channel feel free to check out all my previous videos and um, I hope you enjoy and please do subscribe if you do manage to like any of my videos and stick around I struggled with weight loss for like the, the longest time um, I've always tried to do a few weight loss journeys in the past but always seemed to have failed me and um, this time around I did a lot of research and I was a lot more determined now than I was ever before but I'm super excited to share this with you and let's get into this video Sanity Max Dirty from Shanti, best workout ever. If I if I can rem recommend any workout that you can use, especially if you want something that does the work, like gets the work done, definitely go for Insanity Max Dirty. It is amazing. Um, I'm also doing an intermittent fasting as well, so um, I only pretty much eat a whole meal once a day. I don't know if you, some people might see and think, well, that's not healthy, but I feel like because I eat uh, I eat too much, that's the problem with me. I eat a lot. Just so that it can help me with my weight loss journey. And the uh, reason why is because I actually started this whole weight loss challenge since November. And even though I'd work out pretty much almost every day, um, I think my problem was the fact that I would just take too much in. So yeah, I feel like even though my workout, I was working out okay um, reasonably um i didn't see much result and i think from then on like within like a couple of weeks later i kind of like stopped working well not stopped working out because i still worked out but i just didn't work out as much so i'll probably work out like four three times in a week and that was it i was 86 kilos before I don't know why I am now because I haven't checked and I'm too scared to but I'll, probably, I'll check in the end of this week I used to be actually 879 you know sometimes stress can get you can cause weight gain as well and because I get stressed out I tend to eat a lot which is so bad but yeah that's when I gained weight but I was I weighed 82 so I went from a 79 to a 82 and I was like, hmm, let me check my weights just to see how things are going, you know. I checked my weight and I said, what in God's name did I just see that? I said, no. No, 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 this cannot be normal. I was like, no, let me go back on and check my weight again. And I checked my weight and it said, what? 86 kilos. I said, no, impossible. This cannot be. How can I be 86? I went off, went back on again. Same thing, I was like, shite. I went from being a 79 to being an 86 so quick. 
Um, right now I'm actually doing double the workout so the workout is like 30 minutes each day for like five days and then six days you can either rest or do the uh, 20 minutes workout and then the seventh day is like pretty much rest like you must rest your body you know but um I'm actually doing double the workout so I'm doing pretty much like for example I'll do one in the evening one in the morning one and then I'll do another 30 minutes in the evening or I will just do a whole hour in a, in a row if that makes sense <laughs> Like as if I've just been running the marathon. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, let me get back to this one. I don't. I can't do this. I can't do this. Wow, I'm so exhausted. Like, this is only five minutes. I've just done one workout now. I've done one workout. Now I've got but another two more to go. But honestly, no matter how many times I do this workout, it will always get to me. Always. So anyways, another workout to do, and then it will be all over. Thank God. So I've got one more hour left. stressful but it's really great um, intermittent dieting also is great as well um, I've struggled a bit during week six till now um, up until now I struggled quite a bit I've noticed I've been eating quite a lot of carbs recently so I'm trying to see if I can like minimize a little bit on that as well I have a new target now um, my target before was just to lose weight and I was actually want to stick to being a 78 kilos and I am the 78 kilos now which is great but I'm I'm gonna be a little bit greedy and actually go further down now so my new target is to be 69 or 68 if I can get to at least 70 kilos that would be fine by me um but I want to see if I can try and get to 60 um nine kilos and for that reason i decided to extend another five weeks into my weight loss journey since it, it makes a lot more sense to um to kind of achieve that within that next five weeks stomach how it's how it's looking now it's looking a lot more better now obviously i've still got the fats to lose but that's fine i'm, I'm not complaining at all um I still have the little love handles as well, but compared to how I looked before, I looked pregnant before, so how my belly's looking right now, so much better. So I'm super happy with how things are going so far, and um, yeah, I'm just really happy overall. <laughs> Sometimes 
still be up at this time and I actually found a app on my phone called a calorie counter I think or a nutri counter I'm not sure I'm gonna put that on the screen so you guys if you're if, if you're ever interested you can always you know check it out um, that really helped me in losing what actually did kind of help me in keeping track on my weight but also keeping track on the calories that I am putting in my body that I am consuming um, so yeah i just it really helps me um because i really didn't know that you know i needed to make sure that i wasn't eating way too much calories i am still you know trying to stay healthy trying to eat right and all of that i do have my cheat moments guys like there is nothing wrong in having a bit of a cheat day once in a while just yesterday i had a domino's pizza There has been one food, however, that I have not eaten at all till this day, and that is chicken and chips. I'm so shocked and surprised that since the start of my weight loss journey, all the way till this day, I have never eaten chicken and chips. And to be honest with you, I have I I used to be obsessed in chicken and chips, like. Whenever I wanted something greasy, I'd always think for think of chicken and chips. So this is going to be like my final update on how things are looking and how things are going so far. I've been trying to kind of mix it up a little bit with my in terms of my weight loss regime. So this past few, past few weeks, three to four weeks, I guess, um, I've I've now started to add a bit of um. A bit of um, ab attack workouts into it. I'm I'm trying to do that each day because um, even though I'm losing weight and I'm seeing some form of, some sort of results, my belly has been very stubborn. They say that um, you know it's harder to lose the belly fat. Um, so I want to see if I can try and focus a lot more on you know. Um, losing just doing uh, just doing like a 10 minutes workout only on my belly area on my belly region so that you know I could turn it up a little bit I've been mixing it also up a little bit by doing the um, the really intense insanity because I want a bit of that intensity I want that that really advanced movements I want to do more advanced uh, roots into it I guess if I can put it that way, so I thought it'd be nice to actually mix that into add that into my workout regime as well. 